Chris from Chris's Treasure Chest. I hope everybody had a happy or Merry Christmas. Um, spent some time with their family and um, had a good time and got everything they wanted for Christmas. Uh, today I'm going to go picking on the 29th of December just to see if I can find anything. I went the other day, It was the stores were empty, there's nothing really there. There were a few things but I didn't want to spend money to buy crap, right? I probably could have sold it but whatever. Anyway guys, I wanted to talk to you about scams today while we're heading to the thrift store. If you sell something and then somebody sends you a message after they sell it, you sell it to them, once it's paid, can you please ship to this address? Don't do it. There is a bunch of guys out there, what they're doing um, is they're going through people's sales, especially stores, eBay stores that sell, and they're looking at where or what they've sold to somebody and once it's paid, they send a message a day later or later in the day going, hey, thank you, I got this from you, I paid for it, I want you to send it to this address. And what they're doing is they're intercepting the package. It never gets to the original buyer and they have no way. So always, 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 when you get a request to get uh, to change the address, the shipping address, tell them you only ship to the address that's on the PayPal account where where the, where they have to make the change. If they say they can't make it, you ship it or cancel the order. You're gonna get burned 100%. Um, it, this scam's been going on for a little while. I've never been hit with it. I've been asked for a couple of times. Uh, I've done it and I get a leery, but I'm just letting you guys don't do it. All right, guys, just there's your tip for the day. Do not ship to different addresses than the certified address that's on the PayPal account. So we're gonna hit a couple thrift stores, see what we can find, and I'll give you an update. Until then. Okay guys, back in the truck. I went over there. Water down, Salvation Army. And um, I spent 50 bucks. I scored, I think, pretty big. Um, 1996 Star Wars AMT model sealed in the box. Paid 40 bucks, it was in the showcase. Um, there's one listed right now for $276. I'm not gonna put it for that. I think I'm gonna go not too greedy and maybe go under 200. Uh, there isn't many around, especially in that condition. Uh, eBay had a couple before Christmas and the numbers were all over. And then I found a vintage um, tall ship war game. Uh, unpunched, I'll show it to you, it's hard to explain. I think it's complete, and in the shape it is, it, get, it gets around 156 bucks on eBay, and I paid, I think, seven bucks for it, and then what else did I get? I got something else. Oh, a Ferrari model. Uh, I paid $5.99, less 50, because I had a 50% coupon, um, sells for about 47. The box is torn. I, I don't think that's the deal breaker here. I think they're looking for the car. Even if I get 40 bucks for it, I did okay, so... Um, we're gonna head down to uh, Value Village now, make a donation, get a 20 off coupon, and uh, we're gonna pop in there quickly and see what we can find. Okay guys, I don't know if you can see me, the shadows, but um, anyways, I went to that Value Village there, and um, I got a commercial video editing equipment, paid $14.99, less 20%, and I got a Mega Bloks um, Warcraft uh, set for nothing basically so uh, i'll show you when we get back to the house we're just gonna grab something to eat and then i'll wrap it up and uh, show you what i got all right hey guys chris here we got back to the house uh last night safe and sound and um i didn't do the rest of the video i ran out of time time we got home and uh had dinner and watched a movie i figured i'd do it today for you anyways guys today is what's the date camera girl today's the what 29th yeah. 20 the 30th today the 30th tomorrow is new year's eve day so um i hope everybody has a very happy happy new year uh enjoys your day and evening and whatever you're doing be safe out there guys okay uh okay so the first place we went to yesterday was the salvation army in Waterdown, and i got three awesome things first thing i found wandering around was this uh, Re Revel or Reveal? 
I don't know how you pronounce this model company. Um, Ferrari 458 Italia. This was in a plastic Ziploc bag. Everything's in here. Just it's been ripped open for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I paid $4.99, uh, less 50%. I had a coupon. This sells from $39 to $69. Bucks. I'm hoping to get about $30 for it. Um, but take a look. It's an official uh, Ferrari licensed product. It's got the monogram here, which is kind of cool. Uh, but these models, certain cars sell very well, guys. you got to look for them. I've had very good success in the past. And then I went over to the um, where the books are in the corner. And they have a section where they have uh, board games the odd time. And uh, there's these real cool crib. Uh, crib, the card game. Um, metal bracket. There was like six of them. I think there's 14 in total. They wanted a dollar nine. If you had that whole set, you would have got good money. You would have got like eighty bucks for them, but they weren't there, uh, so that's too bad. But underneath the shelf, I found this. Can you guys see that? You guys can see that there. Wooden ships, Iron Men. This is a bicentennial war game. Um, this is brand new, one hundred percent. Never been played. This one is from 1977. I think they started making it in 75. Unpunched. What I mean by unpunched, there's little ships that are on a cardboard sheet that you punch out and you move around. I've seen this anywhere from the cheapest I've seen it used 50, 49, 50, and brand new sealed, almost 180 bucks. Um, I paid 14.99 less 50. Hoping to get, I don't know, 60 bucks for it. I'll be happy in this shape. So it'll be interesting how, uh, to see how that sells. Then um, I went over to the showcase and I can't believe what I found. Um, at that Salvation Army, they have uh, most of the Salvation Armies around, guys, if you can find one. The, where their showcase is, a lot of them have an auction once a month. So they put all the good stuff in there and and then you can look at it and then come whatever day and, and bid on it. This one here has a book by the showcase and there you can bid on it right then and there or you could have a buy now price. Look what I found. This is an AMT 1996 I think or 95 Star Wars Battle of Hoth action scene sealed model. Yeah, I paid 40 for it. I've seen listings up to $296. I've seen it from $89, $90. Just depends what the market bears. I think if you're a Star Wars collector, you're going to buy it. You will buy it. Um, I've got it on for $159.99. I did it last night. If I can get that for it, I'm a happy guy. Brand new sealed in the box. Still has got the shrink wrap on it. All right? Very cool, very, very cool. I'm very happy to find this one. So then we went over to the Value Village and really couldn't find anything. It was pretty, pretty crappy. Um, pretty much picked through, no new inventory. But it was funny, I did donate some stuff uh, and uh, the guys in the back there said they got a lot of stuff the last two days, people dropping off after Christmas. So good sign, we'll see what it's like next week. So I was over at the, I'll do this one last. I was over at the toy section and I found this. Mega Blocks World of Warcraft. It was taped. They didn't open up properly. There's a thing at the bottom here, but it's 100% brand new. Everything's in there. Um, $3.99 guys, $3.99. Um, stop, this thing varies all over. Uh, if I get 29 bucks, 20, 24 to 29 bucks, I'm a happy guy. Uh, being complete is pretty cool. And I looked online, there isn't many of these ones. The Goblin Shredder, the model number is 91045. So that's pretty cool. And the find of the day, besides the Star Wars, is this video. Onyx. These guys are produce editing equipment for um, 
when you had a VCR or when you had a video camera. This is 1995 technology. Um, it has a five Panasonic 5-pin connector on there uh, and what it does, it edits your movies. This is a commercial brand, um, no UPC number on it or anything. Uh, I've seen them as high as 360 brand new sealed. This is 100% complete, everything is in here plus the paperwork, it looks like it was never, never used. Um, I paid $14.99 for it, and I got less 20%. I'm hoping, guys, 100, around the $100 mark on it, to be fair to unload it fast enough. I really, really like this thing. Um, again, found in the electronics, buried down below, on top of a VCR, just sitting there. That's why I always say, guys, dig, dig, dig in the bottom of those shelves. This is the stuff you will find. This is what makes you guys money, makes you different than everybody else online. All right, guys, there you go. Um, the topic of the day, or the tip of the day, was the uh, shipping address information I gave you earlier. Please do not change the address. Um, let the buyer change the address. Do not do it. You will get burned. Trust me, it is a big scam going out there. Uh, always, if you can, on higher items, and I know all of you don't because you don't want to pay the ship the high shipping rates, track, track package, guys. Get the track package. Get the sign signature verification on higher end items. Don't get burned, guys. Listen to me. It's better to send out one package and make a $100 profit than send out 15 packages of $10 and lose every single one and you get nothing back. Trust me, I've done it before. Anyways, guys. Happy New Year. We will see you all in the New Year. I think it's going to be a great 2019 um, for everybody. And I will continue to do my two videos a week, I hope. And um, I hope to have more information on eBay. Uh, more, a little bit more educational uh, videos I'm going to do. Plus the showing and the thrifting. I'm going to keep doing that. But um, I've got a lot of new followers that are just new. And they they want to learn the business. And I think that's the best, best way to do it is through this YouTube channel that I've set up. Thumbs up, guys, if you like the video. Share with your friends. Please, comments below. I always appreciate them. Um, I'll put the logo over here. If you see my Christmas Treasure Chest logo right here, just click on it. You will subscribe instantly. All right, guys, we'll see you in the new year. Chris from Christmas Treasure Chest.